Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I give you a well, well, warm welcome this afternoon to our Union Session 1, which is a Union Award Presentations and Medal Lectures. Before we do that, let me say uh, first thing, we call it always US1, but I think it would be much more appropriate if you said us one, because it's our thing. Um, before we start with the medals, we have in the framework of the International Year of Planet Earth two presentations, a short one by Dr. Edda Milde. She's exec he's executive director of the International Year of Planet Earth. And after that, a presentation by Angie Ratai. She designs this little box you all received. But before we really start, um, I would like to do something which, um, to my opinion, is appropriate, namely... Switch them off. Thank you. So, I announce now again the first speaker, who is Ette Milder. He reports about the progress of the International Year of Planet Earth. And Ed, please, the stage is yours. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Maybe we should start the presentation, please. No? No? That one, yes. Okay. Double one. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What you just saw was the building up of the logo of the International Year of Planet Earth. You've seen the semicircle, light blue semicircle, which represents the atmosphere. The dark blue semicircle is the hydrosphere, the green one, the biosphere, and of course, the red inner circle is the geosphere. Earth Science for Society, that's what it's all about. Um, we go. Okay, yes. And, um, International Year of Planet Earth is a three years event, starting in 2007, continuing up to 2009, the end of 2009. This is the launch of the International Year of Planet Earth in, in London, in the heart of London City, uh, with the launch of 4,567 balloons. And uh, that was followed, no, that was preceded a few days earlier in January in India with the President of India in the grey suit in the middle, who launched also, but much less, balloons uh, to celebrate the International Year of Planet Earth in India at a major geoscience congress, or a major science congress in India, uh, where it was dedicated to the planet Earth. And uh, a big balloon was present in, uh, in Sao Paulo later that month, also to give the same impression. Only one of them. And it didn't lift up because it was too dangerous in the heart of the city of Sao Paulo. Um, more balloons were launched in, uh, in the course of 2007, this kind of in Portugal. But it demonstrates that um, this event has taken off quite widely all over the earth in many places. That's also exposed by this uh, logo, which is in many languages. And I think 27 now at this stage. But, um, and, and coming up more and more. The International Year of Planet Earth is proclaimed by the United Nations, by General Assembly of the United Nations, and is proclaimed for only one year, 2008, which is just in the middle of this triennium, 2007 to 2009. And of course, it is this year, 2008. That's why, uh, for example, the EGU has, uh, um, as an international partner, joined in this initiative and has dedicated its, uh, uh, its congress also to the International Year of Planet Earth. You have seen many examples that next presentation will also be on that, particularly from the Austrian perspective. Um, 
So what, why do we need an international year in general? Um, in fact, there are two main reasons. The first is that earth sciences have developed so well, so fast, so rapidly, and we, there is so much knowledge now accumulated these days. And, and that is not well known to the public. That's one thing. And uh, that is just an observation. Secondly, that hampers also the opportunities for our fellow scientists to, to, uh, to participate in major projects as the, those who give uh, order, who order those projects are normally the politicians or those decision makers. And it is the, uh, it's the ambition of the International Year to, uh, to encourage society to apply this wealth of knowledge which is there now more effectively. And uh, there are many examples why, and you all know them, uh, uh, how there's a lack of using the knowledge which is available in society. Um, but also another thing is that there is too much bad news about the Earth. And we would like to revert that. We would like to, to, to demonstrate to the people that there is a lot of good news about the Earth as well, about its beauty, about the powers, which can be used for society much better than is done today. Um, well, it is initiated by the International Union of Geological Sciences and immediately followed by UNESCO. And um, so we consider both organizations, IUGS is a, is a geoscientific organization, is a non-governmental organization, and UNESCO, of course, is a, is a multinational kind of organization. But together, they are the initiators of this initiative. And we rapidly found uh, founding partners, as we say it, uh, associate partners, and now we have also international partners, and they all contribute to this initiative. Um, we have all uh, member countries of the United Nations, all 90, 192, have expressed their support to this initiative, which is very important, uh, because that implies that there's political support for our science, and that has never been before. So we can use this political support, and we do that, also to get, for example, ministers at a meeting we had yesterday, of course, and uh, uh, there were several uh, political uh, representatives in our uh, activities during these, these years. And in addition, uh, apart from the international organization, we have a, uh, 69 national and regional committees now in place. And I will tell you more about that. Um, we have 10 themes, scientific themes mainly, uh, which have concentrated on groundwater, on health, hazards, and resources, climate, cities, the ocean, soil, life, and the deep earth. These are the scientific cities. In fact, these themes have been selected on their potential for, to attract the public. What are the relations between our science and the public? And that, these are themes we have developed brochures for that, and you see them all here, including two, the two blue ones on outreach. And this is meant to encourage, to interest people about these fields. Um, I will give a very brief overview about uh, some initiatives in the science field which we have. Uh, the major One Geology project, which is an, uh, a flagship project under the umbrella of I International Year of Planet Earth, it's the ambition to come to one digital map of the world, of the subservice of the world, scaled to one, to one million. And that is uh, uh, supported by almost all geological surveys in the world now. And in fact, what I try to do to make this digital map of the subservice might be used as a third dimension for Google Earth, for example. Now, you, Google Earth is essentially two-dimensional. But if you would have a third dimension about the subsurface, that would create a lot of new interest in, what, in, the, in, the, sub, in, in, the, in the, the world beneath our feet. There are many congresses, of course, which are supported uh, by uh, uh, the IYP and vice versa, of course, including this one here. And maybe you have seen, if you are a regular reader of Nature, you may have seen that in the January issue, one of the, there was a special supplement on, uh, on the International Year of Planet Earth. Um, and in addition, Nature has issued a special new journal, in fact, Nature Geoscience. There is a, a, a book series on all 10 themes coming up by Springer Verlag, 
And of course, there are many lecture series and all kinds of, we have all kinds of books are presented now about the geology of various countries in the framework for the International Year of Planet Earth. Let's have a look at outreach activities. Well, uh, we had those balloon launches, as I said. We have launch events uh, this week alone. This week, there will be seven launch events all over the world. And uh, tomorrow I go to Budapest, there will be uh, a launch event in, uh, in Hungary. But then we have Beijing, Canada, and many of them are only this week already. Ju student contest, uh, congresses, comics, buses, trains, ships, whatever, they, they, they are dedicated to the International Year of Planet Earth, and they will be exposed in that perspective. Um, exhibitions, geoparks, songs, whatever. You, have a, you can name it, and, and it is there, almost. Stamps are issued... Uh, even rock competitions, and uh, the, the rock of the month competition, for example, I learned that, that happens as well here. So many things. This is the website. Uh, here we have those 69 uh, nations and regions which are already covered by our initiative, or have adopted the initiative on the national level. You see, in fact, a big part of the, uh, of the world is called purple, it is a bread where these national committees are in operation. And if you would count up the number of people involved, I think you are over 80% over of the world population, they live in countries where IYPE is present at this stage. We had a major event uh, in, uh, in February in Paris, what we call the Global Lounge Event, and there we had presentations by ministers and by uh, 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 important uh, scientists and, and, and leaders in industry. And there were various sessions. And there were also uh, many students we could invite to be there. That was quite an interesting thing. There's a website, you can see everything about that. Um, the presentation was opened by uh, Matsura from uh, the Director General of UNESCO. The Zaho Grand is the, the president of IUGS. And Larry Woodfork, he is the chairman of the board of IYPE. They gave initial... Then we had ministers, I don't want to name them all, but they were all representing different nations around the world, expressing their support for IYPE in general, but particularly for the geosciences and application of the geosciences. This political support is important. Nations use this support to go to their own government. Say, you said in the meeting there that uh, we support this thing, so we come up with your... With your uh, uh, money. <laughs> anyway, uh, we had three sessions, one on population growth and climate change, and we had Renate Christ from uh, the second in command in IPCC. We had uh, Gisela de Marseille, a very prominent uh, 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 scientist in the French Academy of Sciences. We had Ruth Lubbers, a former prime minister, long, longest served prime minister in the Netherlands. And we have Asha Mehra, the, the mayor of New Delhi. So they were good presentations. They were Aubrey Manning and Marina Marielzak. They have been leading those programs. And we had Mohamed Shea from Tanzania and Ted Neal. And there was a, 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 a presentation on the uh, Earth resources by Mark Myers, the director of the United States Geological Survey, by uh, Monsieur de Desmarais, who is the CEO of Total Oil Company, and uh, the minister of uh, uh, land and resources, with the Wang in China. And a final last session was on uh, uh, geohazards by Professor Peter Mohongo and Professor Hooper from the Munich Reinsurance Company. So there were quite a, we also had three students who gave presentations, on, uh, were award-winning students, and they have very nice presentations that were considered as VIPs in their own country afterwards. Um, the students together, one, more than 100, they had a major song, the geo song, what do you call it, they sung it all together for the whole audience. Quite nice, yeah. <laughs> I can give you the record. Anyway, this is just an event. The next event will take place here in Latin America uh, later this week, we next week in Brasilia, in, Mar in Arusha, in Tanzania. We will have an African lounge, and hopefully there will be a lounge in North America, probably, if it will be, held, will be in early October. Then we have the national ones, and so you see a list here of events coming up now, soon. Uh, normally those events are well covered by the media, and a lot of uh, interest is that always there will be a minister at least, or, uh, or a president, so that 
it attracts a lot of interest. This is a very smart summary about where we are now in the International Year of Planet Earth. And that is, uh, so we register as a, as a separate individual organization. We have a board and a secretariat in Norway. Uh, for the financial situation, I can say we have an international level, we have raised about $3.5 million. And at the national levels, we are close to 45 million now. This day. And that's only cash money. We don't talk, talk about money in terms of, of uh, in kind. Uh, then uh, the level of support, as I said, is already indicated. And here you see also in the indicated which comp organizations are international partners, and this includes so EGU. I should have put it in bold, of course, here. But anyway, anyway, it's you're there, um, and they are coming in on a regular level. Um, my last sheet is here, and this is uh, what are we going to do this year. Um, so first we have to celebrate the this year planet Earth as through all the events that I mentioned. Uh, we put major emphasis on fundraising now, and we are having a new committee in place to do that. We would like to, to broaden the support base. Now the support base is mainly in the geosciences in general. We would like to go reach out to more to the public. And finally, we are now exploring options to go beyond 2009 if the, uh, because we, have, we, we would like to build on, on the interest and the excitement which is generated by the International Year of Planet Earth. Thank you very much.